Hiya, you alright? Welcome back to Shilling Key Metal Detector UK, me Dino. Um, yeah, I am again on the rector fields. There's so, just so many of them to choose from. So I thought I'd pick this little one today. Um, and I found something. Ooh, I'll show you. It's just a little bit of brass, military brass. As you can see, 1941, made at the Royal Laboratory Woolwich. It's fired, there's only half of it left. But hey, gotta dig this stuff. Keeping it real, moving on. <laughs> okay, the next signal out of there, which was about maybe six or eight inches deep, is this. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that's half a bull ring. The ring that goes through a bull's nose, is it? Anybody know for sure? You can see there's the hinge. There it is. Yeah, let me know if you think it is. Or if you know what it is. Nice bit of brass, whatever. But there you go. One. See through the sea. Ready. Um, or it's some type of mouse type weapon. Could be, can it? <laughs> yeah, okay. Moving on. Well, two holes, two signals. That one, because they were so close, I thought, hmm, they could be interesting. Copper wire. Smallest bit of metal in Christendom. Oh well, moving on. Well, I did go a good foot down for that. I wasn't sure what it was, but I was thinking something artifacty. Yeah, pretty artifacty, pretty horseshoe facty. Just half a horseshoe. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's an ox cue, shoe, whatever. That is half a horseshoe. Well, whatever it is. Ah, uh, dear. It were fun to dig anyway. Oh, what a lovely day it is again today. Do I need to say that? I'm sure you're all experiencing the weather, the feather. Ah, oh dear. Give his reins to our World Cup team, hey? They did alright, I think. I think uh, we'll leave it at that. Proud of him. Did well. Could have done better, but there you go. Anyway. Extraordinary. <laughs> Moving on. Next signal, just a bit of ripped off tin. Aluminium or something. Oh. Moving along. Well, the next signal out of that there hole is this here blob. Yeah, I don't know. It's brass or or copper, or, well, obviously copper based bits. Rung up lovely. I thought this was definitely a coin. Any ideas what that is? I have no idea. Uh, tip off something, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, give us a shout if you've got any idea. One of those hard to eat sweets. I don't know. Suck on that for years. Mm. Ah, nothing to do with mice though, I don't think. No, they wouldn't have anything to do with that. Yeah, anyway, moving on. Finally, some round in the hole. Hey, do you want to see it? Would you like to see the round in the hole? It's not very big. But it's round and I think it's a coin. Go on then. Well it's not in the hole anymore. It's there. I don't know what it is. It's nice and green. Shame. But it's still nice. Not very big. Probably not very old so it wasn't very deep. Could be old Liz that knows. Oh it is. Oh I hereby dedicate this find to South Coast Detectings Aaron. Have a good day! <laughs> yeah, it's 1p. I wondered why it was so shallow. Yes, oh well. I don't suppose you want to bother about a date on that. Let's say 85. Way, moving on! Right, you've got five seconds to guess what's in this hole. Ready? Five, four, Three, two, 
one. Wow. Bet you didn't guess that. Yep. Bloody shotty. And it's a, oh hello. Oh, it's not one I've had, give us a second. Uh, next thing I'll have here is a power cell. I think it's meant to be a Duracell copy, I don't know. Wonder if it still works. <laughs> oh dear. There's probably loads of puns and jokes I could do about that. It's just too hot. Moving on. Well, my next signal is rather intriguing because I've seen somebody dig one of these up just recently. Craig. West Country Clegg dug something longer and more complete than this up. Suggested it might be something I would find. I thought it might be a slide for, he said it might be a slide for mice. I might have found a smaller one. Maybe this is a mini slide for mice or some form of steps up to the um, mouse tower, I don't know. Well, there you go. How cool here is that, Craig, as, as you would say. Cool. Bit of brass anyway. Hey, moving on. Well, I was going to make this my last, and I think I will now. I've got to get get away anyway. Why do we think that is? Oh, it's there. <laughs> Hold on. Ah. Oh. Thinking button, but hey, quite weighty that. Green though. There, look, it's got shiny edges. Let me give it a clean up and I'll show it you. One second. I did get excited as you can imagine. Look at it though, look at it. It's quite weighty for what it is. Give us a sec. Yeah, I would say flat button. You can see. This fly is really annoying now. You can see where the um, shank was attached. And yeah, there's, there's no detail on it. So hey, nice flat button. I do with it. Button's a button. <sighs> Hammered. Fuck, this fly really is getting on my nerves now. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, moving on. And then killing this fly. Yeah. Well, I remember. I did say I'd, um, I'd show my uh, my little finds tin, or box. There it is, look. Got that on the top of it. And inside, if I can open it now, inside each slot, look, I have a uh, slot of foam. Holds things in, stops them rattling around and stuff. And of course, a list of things. Uh, that, some bits. So that when I shut it, rattle it about nothing moves yeah things don't clatter against each other and break like they used to uh, anyway yeah there you go just thought I'd show you because I meant I did mention that to Stan eee. and some tissue in the bottom no expense spared there moving on Ooh, we do like a little bit of spendables even though it's only 5p from 1990 hello Lumi pop that in the pot Moving on. Got excited for a bit of nonsense. Look at that. Uh, damn it. Yeah, well. Moving on. Whew. Well, that's it for me. I mean, just almost leaned on this electric fence. I'm feeling rather lucky. That would have been a bit of a shock to both of us if I was filming. <laughs> so, yeah, just leave me to uh, remind you of filling all the rolls, wear gloves, have fun, stay safe, stay lucky. Dig it all and uh, see you on the next. Cheers. Take care for now. These flies are really annoying and pretty brave. I'm in the mood,